Hi, my name is Romel. I'm going to be walking you through my Neen Stack project titled Vector. Along the way, I'll talk about some of the things that I learned while making this project, as well as some things that probably would have done differently in retrospect. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. This was an individual project, and uh, it's modeled along the lines of a Magpul core or a Magpul dynamic website. Uh, those websites uh, offer these very specialized uh, tactical instructions, so they're very niche websites. Uh, Vector sort of built uh, in that guise, but more or less it's a website where my friends and I can uh, propose a date and a time to uh, in, a, in a location to uh, play laser tag or something like that. One of the uh, goals for this project was to showcase a uh, full CRUD application as well as the implementation of socket IO technology. So let's begin with a full CRUD application as I click on this view courses button here. As you can see, uh, we don't have any courses or events uh, listed yet. So let's go ahead and create one. Can go back to the nav bar and the more button for this drop down we can host engagement and this uh, will take us to the add page of the website Just give it a moment and there it is actually let me reload that okay so uh, here is uh, the create portion uh, of the CRUD application, and in addition to this form, we have a Google map here that's interactive, as you can see. Um, if I click immediately on the register button, we'll see some of the custom validations that I made. Uh, in addition to these, there are uh, some, there's some additional ones, including one that does not allow you to um, select a past date or the current date. So all uh, uh, future engagements must be uh, held at a future date. All right, so let's go ahead and create one right now. So let's just say uh, tag 101. All right, and let's call it tag basics. I'll be the instructor. Let's go ahead and hold this. A particular event in let's say Waikiki. All right. So this actually makes a call to the Google Maps API, and so the drop down appears with um, suggestions from uh, the Google Maps API library. All right. So once we click on this, uh, the map should take you. Uh, to that given location, uh, in this case Waikiki, right? So you can do all the, um, you know, Google Map things that you'd be used to doing. I did apply a grayscale here, and that is just to sort of be consistent with the overall aesthetic of the uh, website, right? So let's go ahead and create this course. And now, once we go back to that course offering, it should populate with uh, the course that we had just created. All right, so that covers that aspect of uh, create as well as read. And then we can go to view here, and that oh, will take us sort of further in depth into this uh, individual course. And because there aren't any participants uh, currently, we have this here, I and mean, I can I'll go ahead and register for it. Uh, I'll just go ahead and that special skills eating. Now let's go back and take a look. And now there I am. I'm the First participant, my specialty is eating. Let's go back to courses. 
And let's go ahead and actually move right along into the edit portion here. So let's click the edit button. And so with uh, Node.js and two-way data binding, it's easy to pre-populate the form with the uh, information that's in the database. All right, so that's all there, and we can go ahead and change that to uh, advanced tag. How about that? Okay. All right, let's go ahead and submit. Okay, so um, our course is now uh, advanced tag instead of tag 101. That moves us uh, along into the final portion of the CRUD spectrum, which is delete. I went ahead and I changed uh, delete into this redact button here. And um, again, that's sort of keeping in line with the theme of the website. Also, uh, when you press on the redact button, it launches a modal. Uh, I figured that was just uh, just a good user experience because uh, redact may or may not be, um, you know, um, explicit in addition to uh, apparent uh, to what it'll do. So I wouldn't want a user to just accidentally press this and l sort of lose all that info. Um, that we have in the database. So this launches a modal, and so we want to confirm that action, right? One of the things that I learned while making this project was that when you launch a bootstrap modal such as this from a table, um, and I'll, I'll go ahead and show you on localhost. So I'm going to switch over here. So um, we're now on localhost, and so with a table such as this, um, when you attempt to launch a modal from, let's say, this bottom row here, the the modal is actually instantiated from the the in that original top row, um, and so you're unable to pass data uh, from this modal to the back end um, unless uh, it's coming from the this original this uh, original top row so you wouldn't be able to delete this um, you know um, straightforward uh, with with this a uh, redactor delete button uh, and looking into that I found several solutions that require additional installs uh, something which I, I didn't want to opt for so the way I got around that was I created a sort of a two-stage function. Uh, the initial uh, function sort of passed the the course ID uh, with the click of the redact button, and so that course ID would be held on uh, the TypeScript file in Angular. And so with the uh, the second and the final phase of the process when you sort of confirm the, the redact then the ID gets pulled uh, into that second function um, still on the TypeScript Angular side to the back end for deletion so uh, let's actually go ahead and delete one of these uh, let's delete uh, let's delete our operations all right so it sent the ID for error operations to my TypeScript file, and then so with this, the TypeScript file uh, then sends that ID to the back end for deletion, and there we have it. So that's it for um, the full CRUD operations. Let's go ahead and uh, get into uh, socket IO. You may have noticed this uh, little support button that pops up here while I was walking you through the site. If you click on that, it takes you to um, another page. And uh, this page is where you can uh, perform real-time online chat. All right. 
So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna, gonna provide a name here, and um, I'll actually. actually use this incognito site for our second user. All right, so there's our second user, and I'm just going to type howdy. All right. So that uh, pops up there with our comment, and it also pops up on the other user, uh, similar to how a text uh, would work, and it's in real time. So I'm gonna go ahead and reply. Hello. All right. Again, uh, my transmission comes up uh, with my name. So the communication also gets recorded on the back end uh, through our, our server JS. So not only do we uh, see the uh, usernames, uh, but we also see sort of the the text uh, communication uh, in real time. And so uh, that is it for my project. Uh, thank you for uh, your time. And if you have any questions or comments, I would uh, love to hear from you. All right.